Uh, at one level, it's been citywide discussions about our game's legacy and how we can engage communities and help them to make the legacy more of their own. And at a local level, it's broken down into some sports clubs discussions and some community centre discussions to try and let people develop their own legacy. What would they want out of the games? And tonight's our final session, so we're bringing that information together and having a sharing of what we see as the next stage of the game's legacy for Dundee. We are really wanting to engage with communities and we are wanting to get more people more active more often. So this is a great opportunity to maybe motivate people that maybe wouldn't have thought about getting active in the past to actually get involved in, in working with the local community and just get active around lots of different ways. Um, we look at increased community involvement in uh, physical activity um, and we've been specifically looking at maybe physical activity for the less able, so you know, gently exercise, aerobics and things like that. The community could participate in helping each other become fitter and people would be able to try new things. Every legacy we come out with has to be more than just a piece of paper. It can't be an action plan and just an action plan. We've had them before. This one has to be different. This is our chance as a catalyst to change the way local communities see sport and physical activity. And they are two separate things. So we need to start the activity, go into sport, make it long lasting. Um, and they will continue to make um, networks with different providers in the area to improve um, the facilities and the services that are available to local people um, and we're hoping that that in itself will be a legacy um, that will come out of uh, the awareness that the games will bring to the area. So I'm hoping in some way there will be a space, an idea named after the Commonwealth Games because that's the legacy. For Dundee, um, I hope it will serve part of the bigger picture, the differences that are, that are happening in Dundee at the moment, culturally, science, there's so many changes. Dundee is, being, is such a different city. Like in the community centres, there's a lot of fitness from that. The community are just used up and it's like in a closed area and it's more welcoming, welcoming and then things like that. Management group, with it, which is a charity, um, which is local volunteers within the centre, um, and they provide a program, a varied program, which involves different disciplines um, uh, of activity um, uh, for different people. Um, Excited to feel the atmosphere closer to home. And if it's anything like what the Olympic Games was, it will be spectacular. Well, my personal hopes for the Commonwealth Games coming to Dundee, which is really exciting, is that we can stimulate maybe my own colleagues in the NHS to get more active, and in that way they can confidently pass on that information to the people that meet, they meet on a daily basis. How important it is just to get whole families and groups of people out doing simple activities together. And so, will you be supporting Scotland at the Commonwealth Games? Yes. <laughs>